and trying to reconnect. Okay, live, here we are. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you, Father of glory, that we are here tonight. We are able to talk about you and the precious promises you have given us in the word. Thank you. The eyes of our heart are open, and we know you, the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe. We are here and hungry. I am anyway, so welcome anybody uh, coming from other nations. Uh, we are so happy, and we bind any work of the devil to keep this from going. No interruption in the name of Jesus, no um, uh, spirit of anger, bitterness, or anything. I thank you. I have a clean heart. Thank you, Jesus. And we will receive, and your name will be glorified. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, hallelujah. I believe it is working, <laughs> and God is here. Yes, last week, I, or the week before, no, Jack did last week, and got a, or two weeks ago, and got a lot of views uh, about being in the army of God. And then I had talked about hidden treasure because I got stirred up as we are reading every week in church. He said the um, prophet, um, apostolic prayers. And Pastor Joe has said, you know, there's so much in here. And so as I went over Colossians 2, uh, verse 3, it just bounced out at me or, 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 or became raiment to me and said, uh, let's see, in verse 2, Colossians 2, verse 3, uh, let's see, no, let me go back to verse 2, Colossians 2, verse 2, <clears throat> and this is Paul's prayer for us, that our hearts may be encouraged, having been knit together in love and attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding resulting in a true knowledge of God's mystery that is Christ himself. Now, I mean, I've talked before about mystery, and you know Christ in us. That is a mystery. And verse 3, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And that jumped out at me, and it says, hidden all the treasures. So it's a Anything that is hidden, I spoke about it before, you got to dig, don't you? You got to say, oh, I'm gonna, it's a treasure. I'm going to dig. I'm going to open my heart. I'm going to say, God, I want to know what is that hidden. I know uh, there, the mystery is that you are in me. The Buddhists don't have that. And the Muslims don't have that. Or any of the other religions don't have that Christ is in you. The power that's in you because they pay to someone off far off space. But we know Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is in us. That is such a mystery. And it's still hard to understand. But then, then it says, uh, Christ in, hidden in us, God's mystery, Christ himself, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So I say, God, I need wisdom. Oh, when I hear the news, I think, oh, God, I need wisdom. I need wisdom. Do I just turn it off? Or do I need to know something What's going on? But you have been hidden treasures. That means something good for me to find. You've got some really good things. And so then I thought, ah, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll look up something, the word rhema. And uh, logos, word, if you're into the Greek or the Hebrew, we need to know that there could, uh, oh, Jesus became flesh, John 1, 1, and he became the word, he became logos. That's in the, the Greek, became logos. That's the word, that, the word that is, and this, this Bible is the word of God. But also there's a rhema, and that's, uh, I can look that up too, and I don't need to give you the numbers, but anyway, it's, it's uh, rhema is something, uh, an utterance uh, individually. 
because I was getting like, when I hear something uh, uh, that preached of, oh, this mm, bad things that are going to happen and all of this, and I think, how can it get any worse? I can only maybe take one thing at a time, <laughs> and God help me. So I'm saying, Lord, I'm a little discouraged. So I think, I need some rhema. I need, which is spirit-quickened word. And it's in the Bible. It's all the logos. You know, in the Old Testament, all they had was the uh, the written word. They had the t Pentateuch, uh, but they didn't have the spirit quickened word. Um, but when Jesus came and the Holy Spirit came and came in us, then this word became rhema. It began spirit quickened. And the Old Testament, yes. They heard the word of God. Uh, they didn't even have the Logos. It was only one word. Let's see, what was it? Uh, Jack, we're teaching this. He'd do a really good job. But anyway, it's me. Uh, God is real. And in the New Testament, is the new covenant. We got a much better revelation than in the Old Testament. Because I was saying, but God, how do I face this? How in the world do I face what's coming on? I don't feel capable at all. And I run, go to bed and I'm running around in my mind and I think, oh God, oh God, oh God. So I get up, maybe this is one o'clock. I've had a little snooze or something like that. And I go into my office there and I open um, E.W. Kenyon's book. And the first word I come upon is God is sufficient. He's all sufficient to you. And I think, really? I know that mentally. But he began saying, he is all sufficient. So let's look at that a minute. That's 2 Corinthians 3. This is the New Testament. And it became a rhema word, a spirit quickened word to me. Like no matter what happens, the God in me, will make me sufficient. So, 2 Corinthians. Oh, I love this. I was so excited. Then I could hardly go to sleep <laughs> after that. Uh, um, let's see. Um, 2 Corinthians 3. Uh, uh, let me see. 4, verse 4, 5, and 6 were due. Now, such confidence we have through Christ toward God, not that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy is from God. And then it goes on. Who also made us adequate servants of, of a new um, covenant and an E.W. Kenyon's book, he uses, I, th I think it's the King James, and it says, we are uh, sufficient, all sufficient. Because I was thinking, God, I can't handle this. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. You know, I want to believe your word, but I need some rhema thing. So I opened my E.W. Kenyon book, which I love E.W. Kenyon, that book, and it's called In His Presence. So I know you want to be in God's presence. I know you do. Hello, everybody says, coming in, coming in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, I know you want to be in God's presence because God promised that to us. The upright will see his face. And when we awake, we will see his face. I got other scriptures on that. And I say, well, I don't see it yet. Oh, I guess I'm not upright enough. But anyway, God promised it. It's going to work. So I am believing by faith um, that I am going to see him. I'm going to see and I'm going to hear his words. And I want to hear his words more than anything. I know I need to listen to the news, what is happening in our country. And I know you from overseas want to know what's happening in your country, too. And, and you, you see, all oh, things are shaking, shaking, shaking. So I'd say go to the Word of God. Because now that we have the Holy Spirit, this Logos 
becomes rhema. And uh, I'll give you some other examples too. Oh, a few other ones. We we went through, we got a strong, exhaustive concordance and find out. Oh, there's lots of words that Jesus spoke and they were rhema. Like when the, oh, the guys were in the boat fishing and Jesus said, we'll put out on the other side. He gave a rhema word and Peter said, well, we've been fishing all night, but at your word, my Bible, it says that your bidding will cast the net on the other side. But actually, if you look it up in the, in the Greek, it's at your word. So it's like, God, give me a word, please. I know I am an overcomer. You said in John 16, what is it, 33, in the world you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And I say, I don't feel like an overcomer for what even the church is predicting. Some of these are going to be hard things. I say, God, I need a word. So now I want to go back. So. Jack and I have been going th going through our Bibles uh, every, for, what, 50 years, reading every day. And so I happen to be in the book of Psalms. Now, this is Logos, but I have the added advantage that I have the Holy Spirit now. So, and you do too. Everybody, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's find out what did he say in um, in Psalms. I happen to be in where was that word a few days ago. Let's go. It was I think it was Psalm twenty seven. Oh yay yay! That is so exciting. Psalm twenty seven. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom sh whom shall I dread? And then verse three. Uh, though a host encamp against me, against me, my heart will not fear. The war arise against me. In spite of this, I will be confident. Uh, okay, now verse five. Okay, no matter what the what the uh, the church says or anybody else says, but four verse five in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in his tabernacle, in the secret place of his tent. He will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock, and my head will be lifted up above my enemies, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. Yes, I will sing. I will sing. Oh, so, and then verse 13. Oh, this was really <laughs> so exciting. Oh, Psalm 27, verse 13. I hope you got it, everybody overseas here. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the <clears throat> land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Oh, boy, I can chew on that for a while. Can you? <laughs> I would have despaired because my heart was like, oh, God, I need help. He said he has goodness planned for us, dear friends, goodness planned for us. And then I went on and I went on. Goodness, goodness, not my goodness. It's his goodness. So I'm just going to go through here. Other verses. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, then I ran across something. Psalm 29. This became rhema to me. Psalm 29, verse 9. The voice of the Lord makes the deer to calve and strips the forest bare. And in his, every, in his temple, everything cries glory. I ran across that verse in 1984. We were just committed to go overseas. Jack had quit his job. Uh, I, I'll, I'll make this brief. But anyway, I had two hernias in my um, groin area because we didn't have any money coming in. So in those years, we could collect newspapers and we could sell them. 
So we'd go to our neighbors and down the streets and we'd say, um, you know, would you put your newspapers out on Saturday morning? We'll pick up all your newspapers and we'll, uh, we'll relieve you of that and we'll get some money. And it was like, that's very embarrassing. But anyway, I think that's the only way I got hernias. And I thought, well, we paid for our airline ticket, but we don't have enough money. To, we got to bring money to feed the students overseas. And so I thought, okay, I'm not going to the doctor. Went to the pastor. Ty Beeson was the pastor at that time, and he prayed for me. And uh, I, I'm sure Jack did, but I thought, I, I'm going to ignore this. Because it says, in his temple, I am his temple, everything cries glory. So I said, every cell in this body, you cry glory or you get back in line. <laughs> But it doesn't talk about healing here, does it? No, because I'd use other scriptures for healing. But right here, I needed it, and it was rhema to me. I am his temple, and everything cries glory. All these cells, every, and muscles, everything, you get back in line. I've got a job to do. It was just, um, you know, not a big hernia, just a little bump there. And it was crazy. But anyway, I am going, I am going overseas and I'm going to um, carry the suitcases or whatever I need and I'm, I'm going to be just fine. I have a job to do. So, uh, let's see, a year passed or maybe two years passed and I felt in my area, nothing. There was no bulge there at all. So, that's a strange grip for healing, isn't it? 29.9 and his temple everything says glory okay let's go on hallelujah mm, let's see okay now 31 verse 19 you got it how great is thy goodness which have you have stored up for those who fear thee which thou hast wrought for those who take refuge in thee there's another scripture, the goodness he's saved up for us. Yes, we're going to go through some uh, some hard times. Oh, Jesus did, but he's got goodness stored up. Oh, which is stored for those who fear thee, which thou hast wrought for those who take refuge in thee. Before the sons of men. I'm not looking for a doctor. I mean, I'm not against doctors, but it's, that's strange. He said, before the sons of men, I'm looking to my father, God. He is my father. He'll take care of me. Okay, now let's go to verse 24. 31, verse 24. Be strong. Let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Now, I am saying this is the lo logos, it's the word. But it's rhema to me. And I'm saying each of us can have this. It's a hidden treasure. If you are hungry and say, God, I need help. I am insufficient by myself. I might have despaired. Just not really despaired. But, you know, they say, oh, another virus is coming. And uh, I don't know what else. And say, it's not. Well, it's passing me by. Because I'm in the shelter of the Most High. Okay, now let's go. 32 verse 7. Oh, we used to sing this song. 32 verse 7, remember it. Thou art my hiding place. Thou dost preserve me from trouble. Thou dost surround me with songs of deliverance. This is David writing this. He was delivered, wouldn't he? He'd hide in a cave and he'd get out his what, a guitar, they had a lyre or something. He'd sing some song, didn't he? But he did get discouraged at times, didn't he? Oh, so verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You said, and I declare that to you, everybody watching me right now. These words can be rhema to you. If you're born again, you have the Holy Spirit inside. And he wants to speak to you. God loves you. He sent his son to die for you. He wants to help you through these turbulent times. 
whatever country you're in, I see um, some are from Thailand or some are from, uh, let's see, I can tell by your names. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. I'm going to the nations and you can do it too. Oh, Rosa, you went to the nations. We got to get you here again, <laughs> speaking. Oh, uh, let's see, 32, we finished that, 32, da, 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 da. Um, let's see, uh, let's see, praise is becoming, let's see, uh, okay, let's go 33, verse 18, behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope for his loving kindness, to deliver their soul from death, to keep them alive in famine, hey, did somebody say there's going to be a famine? Oh, I got some food stored up. But I heard that there's going to be some famine. But God said, oh, keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield for our heart rejoices in him because we trust in his holy name. Let thy loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I hope you overseas are encouraged by this. You can find that he loves you <laughs> just as much as me. I am no, no one special. I am uh, uh, able to do this, and I believe you can get this through the airways. But God's word is true he is all sufficient in you he lives in you and he will give you a rhema word even though it's in the old testament it's not called rhema i, I hope i have time to go to the new testament i better go for, for that uh let's see and da, 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 da. Um, let's see 34 um 34 verse 4 i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears and verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Uh, verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Uh, those who fear him, there's no want. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Oh, oh this is so full and so rich. But now I would like to go to the New Testament because uh, you can find uh, it's alive, maybe even more so because Jesus would speak rhema word directly like he told Peter. Oh, you're going to deny me three times. And Peter brushed it off, didn't he? But then when Peter denied Jesus, he remembered the rhema word God had given him. And remember, other times, uh, um, let's see, when he, Jesus was tempted, uh, you live by the word of God, the rhema word. Oh, let me see, there's so many. Uh, Jack and I had fun looking over this. <laughs> you can get us a little strong concordance and find it. Okay, here's a real good one. Romans 10, uh, verse 17. Uh, let's look at that. about talking about faith. Oh, Jesus. It's not just the word of God. It's the faith. Romans. Let's find that. Acts, Romans 10. 17. Um, so, uh, this is good. So then faith comes from hearing and hearing by the rhema word of God. Oh, isn't that powerful, dear friends? It's the rhema word. It'll never turn void. It stands forever. Faith comes from hearing in hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. And then there's some other ones. Where are we, Roman Santa? Even in John. Uh, let's see. 
Let's try John. This is Jesus speaking then, John 12, 48. His words, well, of course, he was the word made manifest, but he gave some special words to some people. John 12, 48. John 12, 48. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him, the word I spoke. The word, the rhema word. So as we speak, as we read the word, dear friends, dear friends, I'm speaking to you overseas. You got the word. If you need the word in your language, um, uh, come look at our website or gillministries.com. And we got lots of Bible studies in various languages. I see you, you're, you Thai or we got uh, Burmese people here, whatever. Uh, I know I got lots of friends since I taught the, with the Karens um, last month. But anyway, it's the word of God. It's just alive to you when you need it. It's like a hidden treasure. Because if you got to get out of bed, <laughs> two, three o'clock, hey, you can take a nap or you can. Uh, he gives you supernatural strength. I've gotten real good the next day, even though I didn't get much sleep because I spent more time with my father. I want to hear from him. I want to be changed. I can't do it on my own. So he is so good. He is so good. So I guess maybe one more scripture and then I better quit. Okay, um, let's see. Um, da, da, da. John fourteen twenty three. Fourteen twenty three. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. Oh, and then verse 7, 15 verse 7. If you abide in me and my rhema words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it shall be done for you. Wow. Wow. Oh, and the Bible is so rich, so full of rhema words. So I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing that you will find a hidden treasure as you are studying the word. What was this? Colossians. Where were we? Colossians 2, this is the apostolic prayer, uh, 2 verse 3, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It's hidden, dear friends. But God is waiting for us. Sometimes we're waiting for him. We get too busy, and I, I appreciate, you know, other examples. Pastor Joe gets up early in the morning and here, thank God, it's, it's cool in the morning. And uh, I can think a little bit better. But thank God I got air conditioning too. There's no excuse. <laughs> and I bless you. If you need some healing, uh, email us. Uh, let's see, it's ramtolls4 at msn.com. Or go to our website, Remote Area Ministries, or to the Gill Ministries. And they got Bible studies in your language uh, how many languages? 27 languages, Jack? 31. Uh, 31 languages. And uh, another friend is working on the Khmer language for Cambodia and so many. But the word is so rich, we have no excuse to be discouraged. <laughs> Only momentarily. Because, oh, God remembers we are but flesh. But we are overcoming. We are the overcomer. So I, I speak... Oh, hallelujah. 
Um, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are overcomers. God is still going to intervene in our nation somehow. It's not necessarily Trump, but God's going to do something. I would have despaired unless I believed that the, I would see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. And how great is his goodness he has stored up for us, for those that fear him and trust him and find their security in him before the sons of men. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all our ways we acknowledge him and he will direct our path. And he will give us wisdom. He's planted his word in us. Rhema word. It's spirit quickened. That's the Holy Spirit that we have. Even more than the Old Testament. David, he won all those battles, didn't he? Because he was anointed to be king. But he trusted God. And he spent time alone with God. So I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I challenge you to go find some hidden treasure in the word of God. God is waiting for you. We've been waiting for him. He's done it all. He sent his son. He paid the price. The blood, the blood covers us and your nation, your nation, as you keep looking to God. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Share this if you feel, or I'll find a rhema word to, for your healing, for your victory. God bless you. Bye-bye.